Hey guys, so recently I just started getting a lot of requests about, you know, fragrances, home fragrances, candles that I like, talking about them. So I thought I would do a quick video and talk about some of my favorites and also do a little bit of a haul because I actually went to the Estee Lauder Cosmetics Company store. Those are their like outlet stores where they have things on pretty deep markdown and they had a bunch of Joan Malone sets. So I thought I would share with you what I purchased and in the meantime, talk about some home fragrances that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna start with actually the candles that I have behind me because um, these are some of my favorites. So this one over here, that is the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin Candle. And I think I mentioned this when I actually hauled the Jo Malone set when um, I did my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. Um, this candle I really love because it's very, very fruity. It's very, very fresh. It's very crisp. And I really, really like it for the summertime lime basil and mandarin that is pretty much like the perfect description for it it smells exactly like limes and i'm such a fan of citrusy scents that is really like my favorite scent it's like my go-to scent i feel like if i see notes of like grapefruit lemon lime any of those any variation of those I know I'm gonna love it. So that is definitely a favorite of mine. And then back here, we have some Dipti candles. So two of these candles are the Bayes, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, B-A-I-E-S, the Bayes candle, and that has a very strong kind of like black currant and rose notes in there. And I think if I had to pick like my number one ultimate home fragrance, that would be it. I feel like when it comes to citrusy scents, I can wear them. I like them as home fragrance. I like them as my like hand soap, as my dishwashing soap. Like I just like citrus scents for everything all the time. They just make me happy and they're really light. The base fragrance is, it's a little bit deeper. It's a little bit warmer and I really like it for home fragrance, but I don't think I would necessarily like it like on my person or like as a shower gel or anything like that. So that is probably my favorite home fragrance. And then the other dip tea candle that I have back here is the Faux de Bois. And so that one just pretty much smells like a campfire and I love it. I love it, love it, love it during the colder months. It just smells like a wood burning fireplace, which is one of my favorite just scents in general. If you are from New York City or if you've ever spent time in New York City in the wintertime, when you walk through like a really old neighborhood like the West Village or parts of Gramercy Park, you can smell all the fireplaces working from the brownstones. It's such a comforting smell. Like it makes you just want to like be home, stay home, cuddle in, like watch a good movie, sip on some hot cocoa. Like that's the kind of scent that is. So I love the photo bois as well, but really only in the colder months. The other home fragrance that I really, really love, and this is another one, it's almost like the photo bois, and I actually like burning this with the photo bois in the colder months, but this is, I believe from Time, I'll link everything down below in my description box, um, but it's called Fraser Fir. It pretty much just smells like pine trees. And I know some people have a very adverse reaction to um, like pine scent, like pine sole or like cleaners with the pine scent like people some people really really hate it i happen to love it i just feel like it smells really clean really fresh it smells like i'm outdoors and i just love 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 pine trees so i really like burning this in the colder months and i really like burning this with the photo bar. it's just a really great combination so now let me go ahead and show you quickly what I purchased at the cosmetics company store. So first they have this Jo Malone candle set and this one has, let me just open it up. This one has five different votives in here. So the first one is grapefruit, which happens to be one of my favorite like perfumes. This actually smells, definitely smells a little bit different in the candle. It smells a little bit more powdery. Is that what it is? Yeah, it just smells a little bit different than the actual cologne, but that's grapefruit. And then they have frosted cherry and clove. This one just has like a really sweet kind of smell. I've never actually seen this before. This must've been maybe an exclusive to this set, which looks like it came out over the holidays. There's like ornaments all on the cover there. So frosted cherry and clove. It's very faint, but I feel like the cherry and the clove scents are very balanced. Like I feel like I smell both equally. And then in the middle here, we have peony and blush suede. This is one of my favorite Jo Malone candles. I don't like it as a perfume or like body lotion or anything like that, but I do like it as a candle. And this actually came in the Nordstrom anniversary sale set as well. And I think I mentioned then what I'm about to mention now, but I really like this scent in like the late winter springtime because it has like kind of like a blooming flower kind of scent, but it's still kind of crisp. So I really like it during those months. 
And then we have sweet almond and macaroon. This actually kind of reminds me of the cherry one. Now the cherry one definitely smells more clove. This one has a very, very like kind of sweet desserty smell, which is not my favorite, but I think it'll be nice over the holidays. And then last but not least, we have green tomato leaf, which is so interesting because it really, it really smells like a green tomato leaf. And I'm not sure that I like it, but I'm so intrigued. I definitely can't wait to burn this. So that is green tomato leaf. And then I also got this set from Jo Malone and I thought there was a candle in here, but I'm totally mistaken. This is just an orange blossom set and it has the body and hand wash, um, a smaller size of the cologne, and then this cute small like travel size of their body cream, which I really like. So I like this scent, but I don't like it quite as much as the grapefruit or the lime basil mandarin, but I think it's okay in terms of like a body wash or a cream, and I'll use this cologne for sure, but it definitely has less of a crisp kind of citrusy scent and a little bit more floral to me. So that's the orange blossom set that I got. And then I just wanted to mention this product. So this I actually got sent um, to me in PR. This is something that I ordered through Octoly and this is a candle from Aqua de Parma. When I became familiar with Aqua de Parma a gazillion years ago, I feel like I really liked their original cologne. It was a very, again, kind of like citrusy, fresh scent. But ever since then, they've come out with all of these different varieties of scents, and I just haven't really kept up with it. So I was really curious about what this was, and this is their Luce de Colonia, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is definitely a more kind of like masculine scent, and this is what the candle looks like. It kind of comes in their signature like yellow orange color. And even though this is not typically something I would gravitate towards. I really like this scent because there's a little bit of freshness in there, but it's a little bit masculine too. It's very unisex, I should say. It's a very unisex scent. If anything, maybe it leans a little masculine, but there's a lightness there. There's a lot of kind of like deep, dark, like evening scents or like cold weather month scents that I don't really like because they tend to get too heavy or too musky, but I don't get that with this candle. Okay, so I had to look up the notes of this candle because I was just really taken with like everything that was going on in here because I'm like, gosh, it smells really citrusy, yet there's that like masculine side to it. So it has orange, lemon, pedigrain, which I'm not sure what that is, neroli, patchouli, and vetiver. And I feel like it's the vetiver that I smell that's giving it that kind of like masculine flavor to it. So that's the Aqua de Parma candle in Luce de Colonia. Really, really nice. I feel like this is gonna be like a fall scent for me like a fall going into winter scent. And I love this uh, case that it came in. You know, every time I see cases like this now, I just think, ooh, brush cup. <laughs> so thank you to Aqua de Parma for sending this to me. So the last thing that I picked up from the cosmetics company store, which is not a candle, but it is fragrance related, is this Tom Ford Neroli Portofino warming body scrub. First of all, I didn't even know they made a warming body scrub. So I was excited when I saw this. And Neroli Portofino is one of the fragrances that I like from Tom Ford. I I know this is blasphemy, but I actually don't really like that many scents from Tom Ford. They're always like, I don't know, they're always, they're heavy. They're usually on the heavier side. They're usually on the heavier side. And I feel like his, his fragrances are very specific. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I feel like every time I smell it, I think, oh, okay, I would wear this if I was wearing a gown and going out to dinner late at night out on the strip. Like it's a very specific moment that I conjure up whenever I smell a Tom Ford scent. And I like my fragrances to be a little bit less high maintenance. I like them to go, you know, with any kind of occasion, maybe seasonal, but pretty much I wear all the fragrances that I like kind of all year round. Um, but Neroli Portofino is one that I like. And the other one that I like is the Mandarino di Amalfi. I think that's the one that kind of smells like orange. It smells citrusy. Um, but this one is also like a lighter, kind of cleaner kind of fragrance. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And before I go, let me just show you the Joe Malone travel set that I purchased during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's still going on and in case you missed my video, I did pick up this, oops, this set here. So this comes with lime basil and mandarin, which I started this video off with and I really, really enjoy. It also has the English pear and freesia scent in here. I love this scent. To me, the English pear and freesia scent is, it's definitely something I like um, in like the holiday season, in like the fall winter months for sure. But I feel like this is the sweeter, lighter cousin to the Diptyque base candle. So I really enjoy this in a home fragrance. And as much as I like this fragrance, I don't actually like it 
on my person. I do actually have a small bottle of the cologne of this and I'll wear it on occasion, but it's not my favorite. I would rather kind of smell it in my home than smell it on me. So that's the English Pear and Freesia. And then the last one in here is the Peony and Blush Suede, which I talked about because it was in the other candle set. And that is it for my home fragrances video. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know. I've never really talked that much about candles before, so I don't know if I answered any of your questions. Again, I got a lot of requests for this video. So anyway, let me know your comments down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.